what is going on out there good people and welcome back to lmd trading where i am living my dream trading hope everybody out there is doing well today in youtube land as for myself i'm doing pretty good just sitting down to get this recap done um i haven't looked at these charts in hours um i shut everything down this afternoon because i fall in a trap of just being fixated on these things and it kind of keeps me away from getting work done so i just shut the charts down this afternoon and i am just now sitting back at the desk to see what it did um as for the time that i was in the market trading today pretty good pretty good day uh could have been better because one of the accounts i was green in i ended up getting back in that account and going red and i did show some discipline i did once i got red i said i was done in the past i would try to fight my way out of a hole and that is not good that's not smart trading so i hit my daily loss and I quit trading that account. Other account that I was trading in, man, man, it was bonkers. We put up some numbers today in that account, um, especially like in the first 10 minutes, using this um, new kind of system that I'm, I'm, I'm trying to perfect. And I took some bad trades. I, I, Pretty sure I took some bad trades that went and guess what I'm trying to work on. Um, but we'll see those when we look at the recap. And um, let's just go from there. I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to bring up main screen. We'll take a look. Um, take a look at the five minute chart. See what the market did today. So I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to drop that. And it is already set. Look at that. That's pretty good. Um, what I want to do, and let me kill my camera real quick. Where is it? Right there. Let's go ahead and kill that. I want to look at this starting at about 8 o'clock. So, actually, we'll take it out a little bit further. Looking at like 4.30 this morning when the market somewhat comes online for pre-market. This is when a lot of the brokerage firms will start allowing retailers to trade. It didn't do anything. It stayed flat and it just hovered around VWAP. And at 830. CPI or PPI, whichever one it is, the report came out and it literally tanked the market. It just tanked the market. Um, kind of recovered a little bit. Pulled down nine o'clock. It caught a bid. and pushed it back up over previous high of day, tried to break over this intraday level that's been on the chart a few days, couldn't hold it. Market opened at 9.30. We got that slight push and whammo, market just tanks. Market tanks out, comes right about to this four hour price action level, catches support, comes up, flushes back down breaks previous low of day chops around it we get a nice this is a nice this is a nice picture of a head and shoulders y'all you got the head you got the first shoulder you have the second shoulder almost even almost even this thing gets back over this four hour level and the market just rips we were down at 16,820. This thing pretty much doesn't show any signs of giving up until it's all the way up at 16,983. That's 183 points. 183 points. And you have one, two, three, four, five, six couple of little small consolidation candles would make it eight you have eight red candles in this entire move that is crazy 
thing consolidates right there at VWAP. That's what you want to see. And then boom, off to the races. So that's what the market did today. I was in the market basically from 930 to 1030. I traded the chop. I basically traded this foolishness, but we'll look and see what we did. We did record today. So we're going to be watching the recording. Um, and then yesterday I said around 1130, like the time that I say I'm done trading, that's when the action happens. I'm going to keep an eye on that. I'm going to keep an eye on that next week. If this continues to do this, I might shift my trading schedule and I might just in the mornings work the shop and then see about this afternoon session because that's two days in a row. We could take this out to yesterday and you'll see the same thing. 1030. It made the move. So I'm going to keep an eye on that. But I'm going to go ahead and shrink this back down. Let's find the video. There we go. We'll blow that on up. Um, what time are we at? Okay, we're at a good time. Uh, market looks to be about 9.16. I did get the recording started a little earlier today. You see that we are up $155. I did take a trade um, pre-market. Let's let's back it up real quick and you can kind of see where that trade was taken at. There you go. So I took this trade right around nine o'clock. Um, got in good, good entry. Um, came up, rejected this level, took my stop to break even, got out. Something that I'm doing nowadays. If my trades don't just go and I'm green, I'm trying to get out of it and I'll wait for the next move. Um, pulls back. It does the same thing. This time it does break it. It makes the move, pulls back, lock and profit in. So these two trades, that got me up 150. Um, and now let us, what do we want to do? We'll speed this up. Let's see how, how it looks sped up just to kind of see what it's doing. It was in a nice uptrend right here. Higher highs, higher lows, higher highs, higher Higher lows, higher highs, higher lows, higher highs, higher low, higher high, right up to this intraday level. Again, if you're a new trader watching me, make sure that you mark your intraday levels. I'm going to take these two moving averages off of the chart, too. I'm going to take these two off um, when I switch back over into Ninja Trader. But notice how this failed that level. I'm going to speed this up because even at two times, it's still going fairly slow. So I'm going to go ahead, speed this up. Boom. We're right there where the market is about to open at. Um, you see market had chopped around previous day's close. We get above it, makes the move. It's kind of funny how the market is always or usually, I won't say always, usually right near a key level. We see this thing is right near a key level and this is me trying to find the clock because the time is not showing and then i just noticed i hit tick again i needed it i didn't want to hit tick but market opens right at previous high of day let's see where we at we opened down at negative 571 so i want to kind of see if this is going to try to make a move back up to zero or if it's going to try to make this move back down so we are holding previous high of day. Now I'm just kind of flipping through um, the 500 tick chart has a nice little pattern going right here. So I take this long. Um, where are we at? Look at where we're at down on the um, dollar sign tick. We're bouncing off of the negative 700. So um, my thought is that this is going to push back up, uh, back up higher. But it's kind of hovering around there. Let's see what it does. And this is where I just have to be patient at. So we're good. We're up 125. We're up about 200. We go ahead and just start locking profit in. Boom. Um, what did we make? About 60 bucks on that one because it came back down quick and tagged us. 
if you notice, dollar sign tick is still flushing. So it was not pushing back up higher. That's why I lock, once I get green, I'm locking profit in, especially this early. This is a little early in the market. We're not even in three minutes yet. Um, but we're pushing back up. Pushing back up. I'm going to slow this back down just a little bit. Um, and now I'm just kind of scalping my way up as this come off a of negative 700. I'm just scalping my way up. Look at that. We're up 125. Profit locked in. Up 545. This is still pushing up. Um, I expect this to come all the way up to about negative 400. But one thing I should have paid attention to is I need to see where it opened at because that's a struggle. Just like we have these levels on the regular charts, these levels on here can be a struggle. So kind of pushing up. But the chart's not really pushing up. And there, it finally catches up. So we're out of a couple of, we got out of two of them. We're in just that one. And boom, look at that thing go. Take a peek at the um, dollar sign tick. We're breaking the negative four. It gaps up to negative 183. And we just killing. This thing is just killing. We're up to that intraday level. It breaks straight through that intraday level. and. We got profit locked in, and we just get out of the trade. We're up $1,300 at this point. We've been in the market five minutes, y'all. We've been in the market five minutes. So I'm just blowing this picture up. I'm snapping a picture to post in the Discord. Um, but notice, intraday level, it's kind of trying to fail it. You really can't call this move any higher until you get a higher high higher low above it so it's trying to push that higher high above it kind of want to see it pull back um, if you look at the dollar sign tick now it is coming down so i'm expecting this this market to kind of come down with it let's see what it does there's the big flush on the dollar sign tick we get a nice size green, a nice size red candle, another red candle, another red candle. Look at just just looking at this tick chart, y'all. So now we're trying to bounce off of negative 400. So we're going to try to see if this thing is going to stay above negative 400 and zero and kind of trade that range. Hadn't really shown its hand yet. So. Um, Kind of just want to sit back and watch and see what it's going to do. And I'm not going to take another trade for a minute, y'all. I step away. We're up $1,300. I step away. I'm going to speed this up to about 10 o'clock. Because I want to show all trades. I want to show all trades. There we go. We'll speed it up. 10.04. I take my next trade at 10.06. This is one that I actually want to watch and see what I do here. Um, trying to look at all of the charts. So on the five minute, we're down here back at this. Um, CPI low. What do I do on this trade? Ooh, I go long on this one too. And the reason I do, look at the dollar sign tick. The market is just bleeding. It's just bleeding. And I get the wise idea that we're down this low. It has to make a move back higher. But there has been no no bull stepping in. This thing is just tanking out. So we're going to take this trade in about one minute. Let's see what it does. Let's see what it does. Look at it. Just 
Shorts are the way to go if this pushes back up. I go long right here. Only because it breaks over. But look, it's already gapped all the way back up to this line right here. So I really should have been like, yeah, man, let me get out of this thing because now it's getting close to where it can push back down. And look at what it does. Big candle pushes it right back down. Um, there's no real place to put a stop at. It's just a free fall. And then I move my stop a little bit more room, trying to give it room. Not the smartest thing to do. And I take a huge, huge hit on that one. Dollar sign tick is still just bleeding out. We down at negative 1200. You don't usually get to see it down this darn low. So I'm still under the mindset. This is getting pushed back up. Try to put an order in and I don't know what just happened right there, but I missed out on quite a few points. Um, so now I'm in this to win this one. I'm trying to make back a little bit of money. Um, trying to make back. We're up almost $300. Um, up 300 right there. I still haven't locked any profit in though. Look at that. I hadn't locked any profit in. This is not, this ain't smart trading. And look, it's back down. So gets pushed back up again, but I still should have been locking profit in. I will, I will say that. I should have been locking some profit in on that trade. Um, because I'm kind of flirting with danger right here. This thing made a move back up. It could easily push right back down. Look at what it's doing. And I'm thinking to myself like, oh, dude, why didn't you take that profit? Why didn't you take the profit, man? It's not guaranteed that this will just keep pushing. Zone to zone. That's on the charts and on this dollar sign tick. Only thing that can help me if it consolidates and still drops. I want to see, I don't want to see this dropping down. I want to see this consolidating while this drops. Or I want to see this catch some traction. So this is trying to catch traction. Dollar sign tick is trying to catch traction right here. It's pushing it back up. I'm going to speed this up one more time just to kind of see what it's going to do. Uh, Definitely was flirting with danger on this trade. I looked over at the five minute to see where the four hour price level was at. Um, and that's why I put my stop right there. Actually needed to be just a little bit below it because it should bounce right there. But definitely, definitely was flirting with um, was flirting with danger on this trade. This is not. Like I said, I took some good trades and I took some bad trades. This was a bad trade. And it actually, it was a decent trade. I just didn't get out and lock profit. I didn't, when I was up 300, I should have had 150 locked in. And then I could have waited for this entry and then made money on the next move. So... Let's let this keep on playing out. Let's see what it does. But now we see it has it has made that move up over 400. Now we're getting the move up about 500. And now I want to start locking in profit. And I still don't. I still don't, y'all. Look at that. I was up $600. <laughs> what is going on, man? This is why I review these trades. Like, dude, this is not about to go all the way back up in one swoop. What are you doing? Take money off the table and reset. No matter what I make on this trade, if I make money, and I did make money on this trade, um, I missed the opportunity to make money on two other trades. So that's two times that I could have got out of this trade waited on it to reset on the tick chart and lock that money in and I didn't do it. So let's see if this is going to break the high of that candle, which this is not, not, not good trading right here. Y'all exposing myself to unnecessary risk. I'm going to speed this up a little bit. 
I do. I want to take a look at one more trade. So let's speed it up. We're back flat. Um, and now I'm just basically splitting the um, splitting the trades up. See, we're up 780 right now, and I still don't have nothing locked in. Dude, what are you doing, man? Lock something in. This is reckless. This is just reckless abandonment. Looking at this chart, this is like a bear flag. This could just tank out at any minute. There we go. Look at that, y'all. We was up $800. I still got my stop way down here. Not very bright. Up $1,000. I'm trying to see if this is going to push up to zero, but there's no reason to do that, man. Get out of this trade. So you see I moved my target for this one to let it go ahead and hit the target. But... I still, I'm still naked on the bottom. Still didn't have a, a stop on the bottom. So I get out of the entire position. Go right back in because we're still kind of pushing up to zero. So I want to see this push on up to zero. Um, there we go. Start locking profit in. Quit being crazy. So we're up 540. I got profit locked in. Chasing it. There we go. Profit is locked in. Profit locked in again. Boom. We have 27.15. Not bad. Not bad. Um, where we at 1020. We about to. Yeah, we got one minute. Let's look at this one. This is another red trade, y'all. This is another red trade. Let's take a peek at this one. I better not go, I better not go long. That's all I can say. So I go short. It's working, it's working, it's working, and I get out. Okay. That wasn't the one. Let's see. This is the one. Why do you get back in when the tick chart is in the middle? Why did I get back in when the tick chart was in the middle? Look at what it's doing. I needed to see that if I was going to get back in with it in the middle, it needed to have been pushing down. So I'm about to get hammered. <laughs> oh, it ain't no other way to say it. I'm about to get hammered. Look, it pushed back up and it gaps over. This is long. This is the picture of long on the dollar sign tick chart. That ain't what you want to see it gap over zero because now it's going to try to push up to positive 400. That ain't what you want to see. Oh, but God has given me grace. It's pushing it back down below zero. It's pushing it back down. Oh, the stress I put myself in, y'all. But I use it. I'm not, I'm not too stressed when I'm trading. We talk about that in the Discord. When I'm in a trade, I'm just in a trade. If, if it works, it does. If it don't, I might spaz out for about 10 seconds. But again, this is not good. It's pushing back over zero. I should got out. I should have been like getting out right there because the trade was not a good trade off rip. Um, it's fighting though. Look at that. And you notice my entry is always right where the battle is happening at. Like, and you see what I do? I get smart. Instead of moving my stop up out of the way, I move it down and say, look, man, just like get out of this position. And then I move it back up again. What are you doing, dude? Actually, sitting it right off of that wick up there is not a bad spot to have it. Um, but yeah, this is not a this is doomed. This is like doomsday. Go ahead and touch me, dude. Like. Hit me across the head. And that's what it does. But this is the smart thing. I take the stop. I take the stop. And now I'm like, okay. Notice how I was saying it's, it's in between this range right here. It gaps up. It gaps up. 
and now I'm long because I'm thinking this is about to push over zero again. It's not really the smartest thing. I know it's not going to drop below this level though. Right here should be my baseline. It should not drop below this level right there. So if I want it, like I could add another one, but we're not going to do that. There we go. It's making its move. Got my stop in place. Entire time now, I'm thinking this is going to this red line. This is going to the red line because it's just staying above this area. The last five minutes, it's been right there in that area. Um, and this is just for me spending hours upon hours just kind of, oh, no, I'm in trouble. It broke below that level. But it's gonna, it should catch support right there. Shoulda, woulda, coulda. Let's see. Let us see. Let us see what it does. Let us see. There we go. There we go. Trade. Do what you supposed to do. Now I'm just kind of looking on the chart, trying to see where I want to put my target at. Because this account, I only need to make a certain amount to um, make it do what it needs to do. So in the trade, it pushed off of this level nicely. It's making the move higher. I want to see this get back up to zero. It tried to break it this last time. The bulls are going to make this thing break that level this time. I just know they're going to do it. I just know it, y'all. Got to have faith. So let's see. Let's see what time we get out of this one in about one minute. So let's see what happens. Let's see if it's going to reject and push back down. Or let's see if it's going to finally make a move. Woo, buddy. Boy, look how much we up over there. We up $1,300. Ooh, yeah. Now let's take that target on up there by that red line. Booyah. Ooh, it did what I wanted it to do, y'all. <laughs> it pushed right up there to the positive 400, which matched up with that red line. We up 38.55. And that's where we close today out. 38.55. Three red trades. And the rest, green trades. Um, this particular account, I needed to make $6,000 in. I needed to make six grand. Let me bring this back over. I'm gonna scroll it down. Let's, let's first look and see when this started. This account started on January 9th. Let's keep scrolling it down. Made $7,089 in this account. This was a $100,000 Apex account. Um, needed to make $6,000 to turn it into a PA account. And we did that today. What's that? The 9th, 10th, 11th? Three days. Anybody that's been following Apex. Apex has this thing that they talk about. Um, I'm going to go ahead and switch it over. We wrapping it up. That was the last trade. Um, Apex had this thing talking about get qualified in one day, <laughs> trading a prop account. Um, that's a setup for failure. But upon looking into it a little further, it was not a qualify in one day. The way that they stated it, that's what you would have believed. But it was a qualify in at least one day. So you need to trade at least one day, but you didn't have to qualify in that one day. Um, and I know they got rich by people trying to do it in one day. My plan was to make $2,000 a day. That would have gave me three days to get it done in. Um, the first day we, we made 20 something hundred dollars and I gave back a good little part of it, about half of it. Yesterday, 
pushed on through. We made about two grand. That put us up a little over three grand. And then today, that was the one that took us over the edge. So I now have two PA accounts. Um, the other PA account, I had kind of been trading off screen. That's the one that I did finish the day out red. I was up a couple of hundred bucks and um, I gave back that couple of hundred plus a couple of hundred. Not good, but um, kept it small trading MNQs in that account. Um, when this flips PA, I will not be putting the risk on that you saw me putting on the last couple of days. I was trading two and three in Qs. It is paying, but um, nah, I'm not going to do that. Um, not very smart to do it. You saw some of those licks that I did take. What lost five hundred dollars on one, lost four hundred on one. Um, but one thing about that account, one thing about that account, and I'm gonna wrap this one up. Um, with these PA accounts, if y'all trading PA accounts, if y'all take or not PA accounts, but if you're trading prop accounts, and they tell you that that account is a hundred thousand dollar account, which is what I was trading. If you lose $3,000, you blow the account up. So that's not a $100,000 account. That's literally a $3,000 cash account. You lose $3,000, you blow the account up. So um, I traded the way I traded the last couple of days to see if I can qualify it. Um, plus just trading this system using the dollar sign tick i can kind of find those levels and just kind of work it just looking at this chart where i was getting in kind of paper cutting it um it wasn't bad entries down there i just kind of got in a little high the first time got stopped out took the stop though that was good but um we ready to do this thing y'all it's 2024 ready to make some real money with these with these prop accounts so we got two of them qualified, um, and we're just going to make it do what it do. So, as always, thanks for checking me out. If you had not hit that like button, please do so. If you're not subscribed, please think about subscribing. And as always, we can continue the conversation in the comments. Um, this market's all over the place. It's all over the place, but even still, you can make money. And like I said, you don't have to sit in front of the computer all day. Um, find that time of the day that the market moves the way that you want to see it move first 30 minutes it's going to be volatile super volatile usually after about 10 10 30 it'll usually pick a direction it'll usually pick a direction so um on that note i'm gonna wrap this one up we'll be back at it again tomorrow peace